An FDA advisory group now set to meet day after tomorrow to vote on whether the, to approve the vaccine. CNBC's Meg Terrell covers science and medicine for us. Meg, what can we expect out of this meeting? Well, Shemp, this is going to be a completely public meeting, really a discussion of all of the safety and efficacy data behind this vaccine. Uh, you know, we're going to hear from the FDA about how it looks at that safety and efficacy. We're going to hear from the CDC about how it plans to track um, all of the safety and efficacy data about this vaccine once it gets on the market. Uh, and now uh, we'll also hear from experts about how to run the trials of the next vaccines if this one becomes available. Now, Pfizer scientists will present their data as well. And then the committee discusses it all and votes. Now, the FDA doesn't have to follow the recommendations of the committee, but it usually does. And we got some clues in its briefing documents today about how it's looking at the vaccine. On safety, the FDA says there are no specific concerns that would preclude them from issuing an emergency use authorization. It does note there are side effects like injection site reactions, fatigue, headache, and others. So people should be aware that they may not feel great the day after getting these shots. Now, on efficacy, we learned that the vaccine provides some protection 14 days after the first dose, about 50 percent, and that gets boosted to 95 percent with both shots, Shep. Meg, any updates on a timeline for the other vaccines? Well, we're going to go through the same process with Moderna's vaccine next week, and we heard today that results on AstraZeneca and Johnson & Johnson's vaccines could be available in the U.S. in late January. And so if those are positive, those vaccines could get cleared by the FDA in February. And that would be really important because it would contribute significantly to vaccine supply in the U.S. as Operation Warp Speed has struck deals with six different vaccine companies. Right now, we know Pfizer and Moderna's vaccines work, and there should be enough for 100 million Americans to get those shots by March. Shep? Meg, thanks. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.